Rebel Nation excited for the second time to be getting a chance to chat with new head Ole Miss volleyball coach Caleb Banworth. Coach, I know the times are strange in the world right now, and and you've got even more going on, uh, not just being a first-year head coach in the SEC, but a new mother as well. So the most important question, I guess, is how are you and Maverick doing, and what have the last few months been like for you? We're doing great. He's actually right here with me. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that just kind of goes to show how weird the times are that, you know, I'm at home trying to work and got a newborn and um, things are definitely crazy, but uh, it's been great. He's been really great. He's three months old tomorrow, actually, okay. and um, he's doing really well. Motherhood is is difficult and challenging, but he melts my heart every day, so it's totally worth it. And like you said, you're trying to work. You're trying to lay groundwork, build chemistry as you move into the season. Uh, how have you been able to do that with your staff, your your players, when you can't get in the offices, can't get in the gym? Yeah, it's been it's definitely a challenge. Um, my staff is is all in Oxford right now, except we um, actually just hired a new director of operations who's in route, I think, right now, um, and we'll be getting to town tomorrow. Um, so the staff and I have been able to, you know, kind of get together and meet, obviously practicing our social distancing as, as we're doing that. Um, so I've been able to meet with my staff um, quite a few times, which has been really nice. The players has been a different story. You know, they've all been at home until recently. So um, we've been doing Zoom meetings, you know, twice a week, trying to watch video while we can, trying to talk about leadership, talk about what it means to be a great teammate and kind of build a culture through Zoom. So um, times are definitely a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, we're, we're doing what we can. And, and it's nice now that the girls are back on campus um, and are being able to, you know, begin their voluntary workouts with our strength coach, Chaz. Um, so yeah, things are, you know, slowly but surely, we're, we're trying to get stuff done and trying to learn together. And, and, and things are getting going a little bit. What about the recruits? I know that process was kind of limited a bit due to the circumstances surrounding COVID-19, but what's the reception been to, to you and Ole Miss as you're talking to the kids that could potentially be future Rebels? Yeah, I think there's some excitement there. And, um, you know, girls want, you know, a lot of young girls these days, they say they want to play professionally. And um, obviously I have a background in that. So um, that's that's played to my advantage quite a bit. Um, so I think girls are excited about the new coaching staff. And I obviously, I, I hired two great assistants that, um, you know, us together, I think is a really exciting time for Ole Miss Volleyball and recruits see that. And um, it's, it's pretty cool because, you know, these recruits are young, but, you know, they do their homework. And, um, I, you know, from what I gather, I think they're pretty fired up. We talked in the winter and I asked you about coaches who have influenced you over your career. And now you're at the Gillum Center with a couple of neighbors, uh, Matt Mott, who's been in Oxford for a decade. And now yeah. Jamie Traxel's the new face. You're not even the new face anymore in the building. But yeah. you've had worlds of success, North Dakota State, Minnesota. How can you uh, gather knowledge and information from them to improve uh, yourself as a coach, albeit that they come from different backgrounds? Yeah, I mean, anytime you get to work with, you know, coaches that have, you know, that caliber, um, and especially right next door is obviously a huge advantage. You know, we can just pop into them if you need advice, you need help, um, anything like that. And, and Matt, Coach Mott has been great um, while we were in the office about, you know, every once in a while stopping in and, and see how we're doing, what do we need. Um, I haven't been able to meet um, Jamie yet just due to the circumstances, but uh, I mean, what a storied career so far. Um, so I look forward to meeting her and working with her and and, you know, of course, Coach Bianco just named National Coach of the Year. I mean, just so many coaches around that are, are really talented. So for me, the, you know, that's a great resource to have. You did get a little bit of work in the spring uh, with some of the returning players. What were some of your early impressions? Uh, and how will that group added on to the freshmen coming in and the newcomer transfers that you've added over the past couple of months? Uh, how will that bunch look when we get to the fall season? Yeah, I mean, oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> this is my um, Zoom. I, I'm enjoying the Zoom. You get to see this live, essentially. I, I'm not yeah. going to complain about it. Yeah. Um, the girls were, I mean, they were great when we got to work with them. And it's, it's very obvious that they're willing to work really, really hard. And they want to learn. There's this hunger for them to learn and get better, um, which as a coach, you can't really ask for anything more. Um, 
So spring season was, was really, really great um, and, and got us really fired up to, you know, get started in the fall. Obviously, it's a bummer that things got cut short because we were making such great progress and we were developing some really good relationships in the gym. Um, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it was, it was a really, really promising spring season, even though it was, it was cut short. And as we approach this first season here, I know your focus is going to be here, but I have to imagine you're going to have your eyes a little bit on the bunch in Lincoln, being that it's your alma mater and your former staff. How, how are you going to uh, adjust with that, keeping an eye on them? Because uh, your fandom can't dissipate with them, being that it, it has such a big place in your heart. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm a Husker alum, a uh, coaching alum from there. So there's always going to be a really special place in my heart for Nebraska volleyball. Um, and a lot of those girls I recruited there, the 2020 class I recruited, um, you know, the 2021 class I recruited. So I'm definitely going to have my eye on, on Husker volleyball the next few years and, um, yeah, watch their progress. And obviously I'll be rooting for them. And, um, but at the same time, you know, it's, I'm about Ole Miss right now and, and our success. And then that's my main focus. And that should be coming here fairly soon. What can we expect? Uh, from this group when you're finally able to get back out there and, and start practicing once again to build towards 2020? Yeah, again, I think this group has a really cool fire in them that they want to be successful. And, you know, when I ask them, you know, what their goals are for this season, um, they all say SEC championship. So, and, you know, maybe that's not feasible in year one, but just to have them dreaming that big and, and, and having that kind of motivation in them is is really really cool so I think that there's just going to be a really cool buzz around the volleyball team and in the volleyball gym um, this year so I think it's going to be really exciting to see. Well I know yeah we're all excited for for it to get back and uh, particularly excited to see what kind of an impact Maverick can have on the team. <laughs> Coach uh, thank you so much for uh, stopping by and spending some time with us here today. You're welcome thank you. Bye Maverick.